What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland, friends. If you're wondering where Minerva is going to be located in Fallout 76 this week from the dates of August the 29th at 12 p.m. Eastern until September the 2nd at 12 p.m. Eastern, she is going to be located at White Spring. And huge thanks to whereisminerva.com for this list. It is an absolutely great resource for every Vault Dweller. We'll have a link to that website down in the description below. But y'all this is a big sale week and there is a lot of stuff here and now one of these items is something that we talked about being from a daily op but it's something that i personally would craft before the season 18 september the third date release because we are going to be able to scrap legendary gear at workbenches with the chance to earn or the chance to learn how to make a legendary effect we'll have a link at the tail end of this video going over more information about that but starting off with is the crusader pistol plan for two thousand gold bullion now minerva as always is a gold bullion vendor so we're not going to say gold bullion 10 million times uh it we're, we're just going to call out the numbers so i'm sorry that i used to say a lot of gold bullion back in the day but yeah let's just get in here the two thousand bullion for the crusader pistol plan now this is a daily op i'm sorry my windows paint skills aren't up to date and now this is not tradable so like as far as this this goes it is not tradable with other players like some other plans that are inside of this list now for me personally if you are going to be using the crusader pistol spending 2000 is not a problem at all i, I lord knows how long it took me doing daily ops every single day to earn this plan from daily ops it seems like it is a rare drop indeed so look like we learned in world of warcraft time is money friends so make sure if you're going to be using that to spend the 2000 if you haven't got it already now the dynamite bundle plan for 150 to me unless you're going for it it's not really that worth it it's not one of those things that i really personally enjoy but yeah if you're going to learn every single thing out there in the wasteland and that is your gold definitely so and the same thing goes with the flip for 38 personally to me i don't really care for this and it's kind of a trend right now with this for 113 i'm kind of the same way about the floater freezer grenade even though we have had some changes to the damage over time effects though bethesda has kind of adjusted how that is so it's better than it used to be but personally to me unless you're going for everything there are better resources out there that you can spend your gold bullion on now the gauntlet for 188 it is a fun fun melee weapon i definitely enjoy it the hellstorm missile launcher it's one of those that if you want to sure but personally to me it does get inside of your loot table once you get it i don't know about spending two thousand on it personally but if you're into that sort of thing and you want that that's really up to you but me i i'm gonna say no i'm i, I really wouldn't spend 2000 on it. There are many other things that you really could. Now, the Turbo Furt Fertilizer, absolutely, positively, yes, for 563, yes. You can throw this down at plants inside of your camp, like say you plant a corn and then you pick a corn. You can throw the Turbo Furt Fertilizer Grenade and the corn will instantly grow back. So it's great to have at your camp if you're looking to plant some camp, plant some plants at your camp, or if you'd like to throw them at people like your friends while you're out there roaming in the wasteland together and you want to pretend like you just farted on them or you have a stim pack diffuser. That's kind of why I have both of those items. It's just because I have a fart joke in my name. And let's be real that's my sense of humor but yeah i absolutely 563 they it's well worth it it's well worth it even if you're not using it for the funnies for the lols as everyone says but you know look to me personally it's the bee's knees and now this is the plan that we're talking about right here the unstoppable monster now for 1000 gold bullion yes because it has the bloodied legendary effect it has the effect for 40 percent more damage while you are power attacking and it has the third effect as a negative 40 percent damage while power attacking all three of those are three things that people are going to be looking for so to me it's definitely worth 1000 gold bullion definitely pick that up if you're looking 
to try to get those three legendary effects. And now also, it does take Deathclaw's hands to craft these up. And in the video that we're going to have at the tail end of the video, we actually go over some locations where you can find some Deathclaw's. And there's also some folks in the comments that are talking about other spots that you can get Deathclaw hands that I totally missed. And I didn't even realize a lot of them. But the Solar Armor chest piece for all of these, yeah, if you want it, go right ahead. It's really up to you. $7.50 for the chest piece. Cool beans. You know, it's it's definitely at a small little bit of a discount for all of this. $5.63 for each piece. You know, I personally don't rock this, but Wiggle Plays will have a link actually to Wiggle Plays video down in the description below where they went over using the solar armor and it looked like a lot of fun. And now if you're into power armor, the T-65 is something that everybody absolutely loves. Me, personally, I am a, you know, union PA person or, you know, an excavator user. I do enjoy my excavator power armor, uh, though I do like the union for the simple fact that it's one of those that it's almost on par with a carry weight for the excavator but it also has the poison resistance. But if you're looking for what everyone claims and says, I mean, because in damage resistance, it is the best PA out there, just base. But in a legendary effect, you can absolutely make an excavator, a union, just as good as the T-65. But you can make the T-65 even better with the right legendary effects. But yeah. At this price, it's definitely one of those things that you absolutely could get. And now we are going to go into the plans for the Asylum Light, the Meatbag Stash Box, the Science Chalkboards, and then also the Super Mutant Tube. Now, the Asylum Light, the Meatbag Stash Box, and the Science Chalkboards, they're all $750 apiece. The Super Mutant Tube is $1,500. Now, personally to me, would I spend bullion on this? No. No, 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 I wouldn't. And there's there's a really good reason for this is their daily op plans. You know what I'm saying? They're 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 all daily ops. This one, this one, this one, and this one. They're all they're all daily ops. But here's the cool thing about all of these. You see, there is something that all four of these have in common. And I know crude drawings because I am not pirate software, I cannot draw the same way in paint trust me i will practice but they all are tradable with other vault dwellers out there in the wasteland so instead of spending bullion maybe ask around with some of your friends or some randoms that you find out there in the wasteland or go visit some camps and while you're checking out camps make sure to check out their vendor and see if they have any of these plans because these are tradable with other players out there in the wasteland. And now as far as mods go, I will always say these are good or not. It's up to you if you are looking for some golf shotgun mods. The precise stock is 75. The refined receiver is 150. The vicious receiver is 150. The Gauls minigun has some mods as well. The triple barrel 113. The aligned sniper barrel for the plasma caster. Lord of mercy, I just butchered that name. Uh, for 113. The plasma caster's got the calibrated capacitor as well for 150. And also the pulse cal uh, capacitor for 150. Good lord. The saying capacitor like that just makes me think of Doc Brown. Marty, we've got to get the flux capacitor. <laughs> what did that? What? You, you ever look at the moon and you think, oh man, that looks like a, a whole thing of cheese. You can wash it down with a nice cold Budweiser. Why did I go to that when I was doing Doc Brown? Oh my God. <laughs> I, need, I need to lay off the caffeine the rest of the afternoon. We just got off the stream. But yeah, like all of these mods, absolutely wonderful if you're using them or you think you may use them because they are all discounted. It's great because you're getting a discount with Minerva. Uh, the Plasma Caster, the True Capacitor for 150 the True Long Barrel for 113 the Plasma Cutter Cryo Blade, the Flaming Blade, and the Shock Blade for 150 and also the Brotherhood Recon pocket Pocketed Armor Limb for 188 and the Recon Pocketed Armor for the Torso. That mod piece is 188 Now, look, for me, like I said, it's very relative on what you're going to spend your gold bullion on, but if you don't, have the unstoppable monster plan you don't have the turbo fer fertilizer plan these are the two items right here 
that I would personally spend my bullion on. Everything else is really relative. And, and honestly, let's be real. This is even relative as well. But personally, to me, if it was my bullion that I was spending or my time out there in the wasteland, I would be purchasing these two right here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out. And let me know, what are you most interested in with this update coming to Fallout 76? And if you missed the video where we were going over things that you should be doing before the update to Season 18 in Fallout 76, make sure to check out that video right here. Thanks so much to the channel members for the continued support. Y'all have a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Peace. Love ya.